<clears throat> All right, so welcome to part two. I uh, recorded a video yesterday, a uh, journal, a qualia journal. So this is <clears throat> part two. I got cut off um, because I think I exceeded my um, amount of space on my phone and had to delete some videos. So um, I believe where I left off was I was talking about the uh, dreams and then um, I had num uh, sort of a numbing uh, uh, sensation in my hand and arm, and it worried me, and uh, I thought it was carpal tunnel. Um, so, um, what happened was my, I felt as if my brain was sort of waking me up, like, hey, your arm is getting numb, you need to wake up and, and reposition yourself. Uh, so there was like a, a greater, um, an enhanced uh, brain awareness and engagement, you know, overall cognitive, broad spectrum cognitive enhancement. Uh, so I thought that was really unique. Um, it seems like there was something else, but, uh, I'll be writing about this and blogging about it, um, because it is pretty profound, I think. Now, so this is, uh, day four, and I don't, uh, so I didn't notice the same level of uh, shift as I did yesterday. Yesterday was just like explosion, right? Just like, bam, whoa, the matrix. I'm seeing like, you know, green numbers and code uh, in vertical columns kind of thing, you know? Um, but today it's much more uh, subtle or subdued. And yesterday, I didn't really um, have the same level of energy all day. It sort of plateaued. Um, I did drink a little bit of wine in the evening, uh, and I wonder if that may have affected anything. I know it says not to, not to have that interaction to avoid that. Yeah, so... Um, I have noticed um, a definite change today. I am I am focused and engaged, um, but again, it's not like a, a super high level of excitement. Um, and I wonder, I just wonder if it has anything to do with. Um, I've noticed that I'm I'm sort of uh, been losing a little bit of focus or getting distracted. So I wonder if it's based on dose dependency, right? Uh, I know the maximum is eight. I have been um, at night taking two more of the step two. I think I mentioned that yesterday though. Um, but the up upside is that um, in the mornings I am um, pretty good at like go, go, go instead of dragging my ass, you know? taking me forever to get out of bed and like to get moving and I'm cranky. Um, I noticed this morning, so it's, it seems like it's maybe integrated more, um, which is good. I don't want to be like high every morning. Right. Um, I mean, uh, because I'm going to burn myself out. So it's a good, it's like, um, it just seems so well balanced. Like it seems very intelligent. Uh, this combination of substances, Right, so uh, so this morning I was um, I had a, a good balance of not. Uh, yesterday, the energy was great, but it was just like getting a new hot rod for the first time or something, you know. Um, I was a little overly polite. I wasn't my true personality. I don't think today it f more fully integrated with my personality, and I um, I was a little more myself. I was humorous, you know. I just felt it was just right. Uh, everything was very well balanced, I think. Uh, and that's kind of been the key theme is this balance, um, which is perfect. Because there's a lot of complex factors uh, regarding the human mind, right, and the brain. Uh, you've got cognition and emotion and psychology and uh, interactions and relationships. Uh, there's a, so much processing uh, going on. So anyway, it's a little more subdued. Um, 
sorry if you noticed that little pause there and I didn't finish a thought, but <laughs> it was just too sunny. Um, and I was driving for about 20 minutes anyway. Um, so yes, uh, today I think is the first day of true, um, balance. And I think there's so much, so I was talking about complexity, um, how everything is very complex. So it takes some time, but given the level of complexity of the, the mind body connection and the axis, the gut brain, all that, uh, emotions, cognition, uh, relationships, all that. It's pretty remarkable that uh, in such a short period of time, uh, it seems like full or near uh, integration has been achieved, um, and it feels pretty darn good, right? So I'm looking forward to see to seeing where um, how it fits into and how it helps me with uh, creative ideas and uh, the business. Right, but the, the the problem is that I'm uh, doing a lot, I have a lot of stuff going on. The sort of more monolithic tasks, right? Um, so I can't really focus on um, uh, business or sort of um, making money on the side. But I'm wondering if it is possible to just chip away when I do have that time and to do it in such an efficient way that I can actually do it because the issue before has been that I'm all over the map and I have no idea where to even begin. So we'll see how it works with that. And I feel that it's doing a good job, but the primary focus has been focus. <laughs> well, uh, you know, social, relationship, humor, that kind of thing, creativity. It's working well with that. I do feel, um, a di I, I do feel some, a slight kind of upset in, in the GI area. And I think there's some realignment happening. I'm not sure what that's about, but, um, yeah, it's good. I'll update later. Thanks. Bye.